Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my new vanity room. I will do a tour eventually when it's finished. It is definitely nowhere near finished, but whatever. Today I am sitting down with you guys to do a quick tutorial of how I achieve those kind of blogger type curls. I know you know the curls I'm talking about because you see them in every single blogger if you follow me on Instagram. So I'm sitting down to show you guys how I achieve that with a straightener. So let's get started. Okay, so before I even heat this up, I just freshly washed my hair and dried it. Um, I'm just gonna take a section and show you the kind of motion that you use. So you clamp down with your straightener and you wanna turn it all the way around until this hair is peeking out in the front and pull it straight down. Obviously my straightener is not turned on, so like it's still straight, but that's the motion that you guys wanna use. I've seen some like hacks for people kinda of just click it and like pull it all the way around. If that works for you and you wanna try it, then go ahead, but my hair is short and I have always done this, so I don't know, but Go ahead, feel free to try that if you want to. So I'm gonna heat this up and we can get started. While my straightener is heating up, I'm gonna apply some heat protectant. I'm using the Brusque Thermal Serum. So literally with this, you only need like a dot, like the tiniest dot. And you can just work that in with your hands. And I would definitely avoid the root area only because this is like very, I'm not oily. Well, yeah, I guess oily, but it's like a heavy serum. It smells amazing. It smells like most of like the rest products. They kind of have like that, like more like cologne scent to them, if you know what I mean, but they just smell like clean, like salon, but it's alcohol free and definitely adds a bit of shine and helps with any frizz that you might have, which my hair is bleached and dry as anything. So like, of course I have frizz. Still not hot enough. Give me a minute. The straightener I'm using to do this is actually so old. I've had this since I think like my freshman year of high school, which was a while ago. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not good at math. Like I was a communications major for a reason because this cannot do math. All right, so let's get started. So first I'm going to section off my hair. So, all right, let's get started. Again, you wanna twist it around. The secret is to just leave the ends out. And if they're still a little bit curled, just go over it with a straightener. So you get this little curl. I always find the bottom layer to be the hardest only because like mine is like very short right now. Sometimes if it comes out like curlier than you anticipate, like this one just did, because usually I only need like a half turn, but demonstrating, you can literally just very lightly run over and don't clamp it down all the way. Just like, you know what I mean? And you'll get a looser wave. And not every curl has to be the same. So just check again, make sure you don't have any little straight piece scragglers. This right here. And twist them up. Okay. And then you're just gonna move on to the next layer and Follow this up your head. Generally, I do like three layers, three or four, depending. My hair is pretty fine, but I have a lot of it. But when it comes to styles that are a little bit more messy, like it's fine. Like you can take bigger chunks, smaller chunks, whatever you feel like doing. All right, and again, Let 
and just I just run my fingers through it until I get that looser, kind of mixed look. And so normally if people want curls to like not mesh together, you do it in like kind of alternating directions, which I do when I want more of like volume when I'm doing like extensions or something like that. But when you're doing kind of mixed curls, like bigger sections, smaller sections, they're all coming out a little bit different so they don't mesh together as much I find. So feel free to curl on the same direction. And I know it's bad, like, if I don't like the way a curl came out, I will go over it as quickly as possible, though, because, like, I mean, no heat is really good for your hair, like, but clamping it between two hot plates and dragging it down, I'm sure, is not fantastic, which is why you always want to use your heat protectant. Make sure that you protect your hair as much as you can. Like, I can't, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but like, I do have a fair bit of breakage. Like, that's normal. My hair is bleach. Overall, it's pretty healthy. Um, but still, that's to be expected because my hair, like, is, the natural color of my hair is what my root is. Like, it is dark. If you guys are interested in maybe a rundown of like my favorite products for bleach hair, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be more than happy to oblige. Let me see, are there any straight pieces? Yes, there is. All back here, damn, that's a big ass piece too. I should probably mention like I also like I brushed my hair to make sure there were no knots before, but I had just freshly blow dried it, so. Okay, again, just run your fingers through and separate the curls. And then make sure that there's no major straight pieces or any pieces that you may want to redo. I also, like, this is old faithful, but like, I feel like I should probably invest in a new curl or straightener and i have bought like new straighteners through the years but i always come back to this this is literally like my favorite i don't know if i mentioned but it's a her styler and i got it at one of those kiosks in the mall where like they stop you and they harass you but like honestly this one has lasted forever and i love it so I don't know, I guess moral of the story sometimes stop and see what they're selling, but I never do it honestly. So you might do do whatever you want with your life. Do you boo? Do you hear Nick walking around? Everything echoes in this house. It's very loud. And it's all like old hardwood, so again, everything echoes. But it's cute. When it's maybe one day eventually finished, I will give you guys like a quick tour of the house, I guess. I don't know, I guess I got a lot of tours to do. I'm honestly just thrilled to have like a vanity room and have like a space to film and to do, I don't know, my things that I do. I don't really know what I do, but whatever. I have a space to do it in. And again, just coming through the ends, straighten anything out. This is what I find gives it that more like beachy look. Do you hear my stomach? <laughs> And I kind of tend to, like, I noticed, like, that I didn't mention, but, like, I tend to twist my curl when I'm coming out of a 
full just because I feel like it gives it like a more beachy, messy curl before it sets from the heat. For looser curls, I almost do like a half turn or almost like a three quarter turn, I guess. Like I don't pull it all the way through so it's facing the other direction. But if you want to do that, you're going to wind up like a more, like a tighter, like a true curl versus like a wave. So I'm going to take the Kristen S um, Working Texture Loose Styling Powder. I got this at Target. I don't remember how much it was, but it's really good. And it smells kind of like baby powder. It reminds me of baby powder, but it does not work like baby powder. So I'm going to lift up part of my root. You don't want to put it directly on top and just spill a little in there and work it in. And it has this like weird kind of not sticky texture but like it feels almost like wet and you can like feel free to look like real quick and really just like tossle it in work it in at the root for volume and like texture throughout the hair and like wow okay This is definitely a style that like you don't have to be afraid to like play with because that's when it looks best. And do the same on the other side. And really just fix it where you want your hair to sit because it doesn't like, again, it's the strangest texture it doesn't feel like any other like texture spray or anything it just has this grip to it that is amazing for the style and it definitely I feel like extends the life of your style because it's a powder and just working that into the back as well Okay, so now we have volume, we have texture. There's a dog barking outside, I'm gonna get him in a minute. One more minute. He's blind and I think he's deaf too. So like, sometimes he just barks, but it's not really for any reason. I think he just wants to have his own voice in the world. I don't know. When you're happy with kind of like the shape and like volume and just general overall look of your hair, don't forget to set it. I'm going to use the Bedhead TG All of It Volume Flexible Hairspray. I really like this. I like the way it smells. I like the way it sits. If you put a ton of this, yes, your head will turn into a helmet, but like, I don't know. It's, it's good. I got a TG Max for 10 bucks and I cannot complain but it definitely holds all of your curls in place, all of your anything that you want to hold in place, like it got you. And again, you can work with this to create like a piecier kind of look. And when you're happy with the finished product, you are done. There is no right or wrong way to do this hairstyle. And it's very like moldable when it comes to the products. So you can also feel free like through the night. This also wears very well. 
like even when the curls loosen up it just kind of has more relaxed look to it it's overall a pretty relaxed style i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions comments suggestions anything feel free to let me know in the comments down below be sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time hopefully sooner than later thanks guys bye I'm so weird on camera why why do i